I was noticing this about about uh, Indian and Irish. So this is about Indian Americans in Philadelphia. There's been an Indian presence in Philly since the 19th century. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew they're Indians because we, the Dutch were trading, you know, intended to trade with India when they found America. It was a mistake that Hudson, you know, he thought he was finding a different route to India. And we should nationally recognize which ended de facto ban of Asian mark immigrants to the United States. One of the most notable Indians to come to Philadelphia. Now, here's where it says activities related to the Indian independence movement would also take take place in Philadelphia with the Gatter Party being active in the city and a joint rally of Indian and Irish nationalists against British imperial rule. Now, that's that's strange this way because she, this Kamala Harris lady is Indian and Irish. So they both had that in common that's probably why she's Irish and Indian, is they had rallied together, they were joined together, uh, fighting against imperial rule taking place in 1920. So, with Biden being an Irish Catholic, I would say it's kind of like a coup against Anglo-American, you know, with the mass immigration and everything. That's what they're trying to do away with. But we aren't really Anglo or British. And, um, you know, we didn't have this imperial rule over, over Ireland. And I know they, 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 that's what they're, they're getting at. You know, they're trying to do away with Anglo law they try to they they have reasoned out how you know the indian the native americans are were so wronged and this and that and, and you know i mean they 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 come up they dig up all this stuff not there's nothing that the indians could have possibly done according to them you know um, i mean they're trying to use our institution like it's just about them you know like darn we want to listen to them and I would myself deport them. I'd go back as far back as at least the 1970s and deport families that they brought here out of smite, despite Amer- Anglo-Americans, you know, or to, to, out of spite, you know, and just to do a, a retaliation against, and a, and a political plot against the Anglo-American. So the Irish, you know, I mean, if they're that way, they're that way, but we don't, we don't need Irish Catholics to keep bringing that on, you know? I mean, we're not on their side. I mean, you could talk to most people in America who aren't Irish Catholic, and I don't think people really care, you know, about their problems that much. Or their opinions, or believe in who they are. You know, like they're these saints. Or that have to do with the, the same same anything, you know. If that's their thing, if they're not just American and, they, and they're against, they're blatantly trying to use us against Anglo, and we're, you know, I mean, use our country and, and, and populate it and immigrate and plan out, you know, how they don't want, they don't want blonde people here. They don't want Anglos. They don't want Anglo law. The Germans do it too because they're not Anglo who come here. And um, the Germans that were here before weren't that, you know, we didn't have the same issue. It's the Germans who are like a Nazi party or something, right? Or or the ones that are from the 19th century, you know, after the World War came here. <clears throat> A 
law is just law. I mean, they want to complain. Common law was done away with, and they just change it to criminal law. So, Indian and Irish nationalists against British imperial rule. That's that's Kamala Harris. Uh, 